Hi, Greg Whitmore, Tiny Mountain Wellness. Now, usually, as you know, I talk a lot about intermittent fasting because nutrition and what we eat and when we eat is so important to our health. But absolutely, exercise is one of Whitmore's big five as well. And yet, when wintertime hits, the snow comes, the cold weather, the ice, sometimes we stop working out. That's why a lot of people put on some extra weight during the winter. Sure, we can be on the treadmill or the Peloton in the weight room, but we need to get outside and get some fresh air. But it can be dangerous, it can be uncomfortable because it's cold. Today I'm going to talk about some traction devices, some things that I use to make hiking safer and something you're going to enjoy and, and ways you can stay healthy through the winter. So let's get right to it. So the first traction device I'm going to talk about are just the boots you wear. And these are just a pair of Merrill medium weight winter boots with some insulation. I've got gaiters on to keep the snow out of the shoes. These have a good Vibram sole, but even when I'm walking on ice and snow with pretty aggressive tread, you can do some slipping and it can be dangerous. So that's why I like to add some things to these in the winter time. And that's what I'm talking about. Let's go to the first one. So the first one I want to talk about are just some real light yak tracks. And I wear these over my shoes when I walk to work. These are great on sidewalks, paved roads, you can run in these. And this would be just for thin layers of ice. But if you get thicker layers of ice, compact snow and ice, you want to move to something more aggressive. That's when I go to these. These are micro spikes. And as you can see, they're very aggressive. They've got about three quarter inch 5 inch to 3 quarter inch spikes but again you wouldn't want to do this on a sidewalk with very thin ice they'd be too aggressive but probably for what I'm going to do today on some icy logging roads it's probably what I'm going to wear again those just stretch over your regular boots or shoes and give you an amazing amount of traction and if you're going to be in deep snow the next thing to get or snowshoes and again we're talking about something that everyone can do just simple walking but snowshoes when you're in softer snow deeper snow you want to have more flotation these are just a pair of MSR lightning explorers I love them and they have traction as well and there are different types again there's some that aren't very aggressive but as you can see these have some spikes on the bottoms so they dig into the ice, snow, they won't slide. They're great for going uphill, great for going downhill. And just give you, give you a great walking experience when you're outside. So that's some items that can make your outdoor experience more enjoyable and safer. Whether you're on thin layers of ice and using the yak tracks, thicker layers of ice, compact snow, and use the micro spikes or in deeper snow using the snowshoes, you'll be able to walk safely and comfortably in any winter condition. Now for added safety, this isn't really traction devices, but you wanna get a good set of trekking poles to help you with your balance as you're going uphill or downhill on uneven terrain. So today I'm gonna to walk up this old logging road for a ways. So I'm gonna be in, it looks like icy, tire tracks. So I'm going to wear the, the micro spikes, but I know I'm going to get up there and get off trail and get into some deeper snow. So I'm going to pack my snowshoes for a little while. And then I'll, when I get into that deeper snow, I'll switch out the micro spikes for the snowshoes and, and go from there. My, what a beautiful day. Walk up here in my micro spikes and then do a little snowshoeing. It's about 30 degrees, sunny, gonna be awesome. All right, here's a perfect situation where the micro spikes are nice. I'm in tire tracks, it's been four wheelers with high clearances gone up here. And in some of these spots where it's protected by trees, it's melted down and you have some ice. So normally, You'd have to tiptoe across this or risk uh, slipping, falling, maybe doing a little uh, hyperextension of your knee. But with micro spikes, 
they really bite into this stuff. You can see that's what they look like. Pretty aggressive. All right, so let's watch how this works. Not a slip at all. Normally I'd walk off into the snow, but in this case, with micro spikes, walk right through the ice. They are awesome. I can't believe I didn't have them 10 years ago. Even on compact snow, where it might not be that slippery, when you take steps in regular boots, you'll find you'll slip just a little bit, but not with the micro spikes. All right, this is where people have been getting stuck and turning around since the last snow. So it's gonna get deep. Micro spikes have been the perfect tool up until now, but I can tell I'm gonna sink in a little bit. There's still gonna be ruts, so snowshoes aren't gonna be uh, comfortable the whole time. I'll try to stay on some of the unrutted stuff, but it's definitely time to put on the shoes. All right, snowshoes are on. Let's see what it looks like. Pretty uneven. Definitely right tool for now though all right take a look at my tracks snowshoe tracks that's on top of at least 20 inches of snow you can see i'm sinking in maybe about two inches but if i were walking in my boots i would sink in more like 20 inches and that would be a lot tougher now uh, it's still a workout, still a great workout, but I'm covering more distance. So that's why it's good to have both micro spikes and snowshoes you can get into anytime you're in snow. If you come up here to the top, this road keeps going down. Probably follows that ridge out there, but I'm gonna jump off the trail here and go down a different ridge. And as my wife will tell you, I rarely go back down the same way I came up and I rarely stay on the trail. So let's see how that works out. All right, I'm up here at a nice viewpoint, kind of the top of a ridge, looking at Baldy Mountain there. Good place to uh, sit down, have lunch. Heat up some water for some coffee. I'm gonna have to put my down jacket on. A little chilly, even though it's sunny. It's still about 28 degrees, slight breeze. So anyway, back in a bit. If you're going to be doing much winter hiking, snowshoeing, cross country skiing, and sitting down for lunch, you gotta have one of these. This is a Thermarest Z seat. And these are awesome, because you just set these down in the snow on top of a, a log and flatten it out and it keeps your seat nice and warm. I highly recommend it. Getting off the beaten path now. Let's go down this ridge, find a draw that comes back and meets back up with the road I came up on and should have a fun time. I like shortcuts. All right, I gotta go down this draw. This is where you wanna make sure you have a set of snowshoes with cleats on them like I have. You don't just want your general snowshoes that uh, are for flat ground. So luckily I won't have any problem with this. A little slipping and sliding, but it'll bite. 
And I'll follow this drainage down back to the road. Okay, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'm gone. Get outdoors, no excuses.